Hey everybody, I'm Jack. I've had a real estate license for over 10 years and I'm working here in Texas mostly with investors. Today I'm gonna to talk about how to price your home effectively or how to come up with a price for a home that you're looking at. So basically you're gonna to want to price your home the way an inspector does and that's to find three homes that have sold in the last three to six months in your area. The sooner that they sold to when you're selling is the better. But if you have to go further back, then you might have to and then take an account for certain market things that have been happening if that will lower or raise your price. You're not gonna be able to get it perfect, but you wanna look at homes that are similar size uh, square footage, similar year built, and in the same neighborhood. So look at those homes and notice what they did. Did they put in all new granite countertops and all new paint and appliances and stuff like that? If you want that price, you're gonna to have to do that with this house too. Did they just paint and carpet it? That's all you have to do. You don't wanna overbuild the neighborhood. If you're looking at the photos of the home on Zillow or something like that, and you see that, wow, they took down walls, they added square footage, they did all this stuff, then that's what you're gonna to have to do as well and your remodel costs are gonna be much higher. Now there's other ways to price out homes. If you can't get the last three, you might need to hire an appraiser for 600 bucks or so to give you an appraisal estimate on the property. If it's income property, you can use the income that it makes to go against other properties and their similar income. If it's a replacement value, all kinds of different ways to look at how a home is priced. But the best way is just to find three homes that sold in the neighborhood. What did they sell for? How long did they sit on the market? What did they look like from the inside? And then how similar are they to your property? If they have three bedrooms and you had two bedrooms, then you may wanna take off a little bit on your price. If they're 3,000 square feet and you're 1,500 square feet, then it's not a great comp, I wouldn't use it. But I also wouldn't use price per square foot in that case either, because that could really change the price of your property. It doesn't go exactly, hey, this is all $200 a square foot. If yours is half the size of the other homes in the area, it will be worth more price per square foot than the other houses. I'm Jack, give me a message or follow my channel if you want more real estate tips, thanks.